in your podcast you were defending Russia. Um, okay. I agree with you, but I have a question. Did they not destroy our educational system in our country? They funded universities and, and, they, and they planted strong communists who in return our history. Okay. Okay. First of all, I am not defending Russia. My perspective is not pro-Russia. I am not biased pro-Russia or whatever. I'm just saying things as they are. I have explained history. I've explained the history of the conflict. Where does the conflict rise? Who started the conflict? Who has been expanding eastwards and breaching, breaking all the promises? It's not Russia, right? So I'm not defending Russia. I'm just saying it how it is. Now, the question is, they did not... Uh, so, so you are saying that they funded uh, certain uh, people in India's universities and planted communists and Marxists in our departments and so on. Okay, maybe they did. So let's compare the sins of the two sides. I had said... I had said, why should I criticize Russia? What did they to do to me? Did they enslave my country? They did not. Did they, like the like the Westerners did? They did not. Did they starve a hundred million Indians to death in a number in in hundreds of artificially engineered famines? The Russians did not. The British did. Right? Did the Russians steal almost $50 trillion worth of my ancestral wealth that my ancestors and our, our ancestors had, had, had uh, acquired over 10,000 years? No, the Russians did not do any of that. The British did. And so on and so forth. They, 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 they partitioned, the British partitioned our country. They broke up our country. They created these divisions that still persist in India. The Russians did none of that. So on the one hand, you have a nation, you have the West, let's let's call it the West, which has indulged in genocide in India. At least a hundred million Indians have died. They enslaved India, they colonized India. They stole almost 50 trillion dollars worth of our wealth. On the other hand, you have the Russians who planted a few communist agents in India. What is the bigger sin? What is the bigger crime? What is a crime against humanity? Genocide, 100 million Indians dead, 50 trillion trillion dollars worth of treasure looted, or a few communist agents in India? What is the real crime against humanity? I think the answer is very clear. Now, when it comes to the Russians planting some agents in India's uh, academic system and all, you know, that's what all countries do. They try to further their own interest. Read the Arthashastri. Understand how geopolitics works. Understand how statecraft works. You have to try and maximize your influence in other countries. Now, at that time, the Russians, whether it is the 60s, 70s, whatever it was, the Russians were legitimately worried that India may drift into the American camp, into the Western camp. And they wanted India to remain in the Russian camp, in the the USSR camp. And therefore, they sought to mold the minds of Indian students and make them more pro-Russian, pro-Soviet, pro-USSR. And that's why they funded certain academies and all. And this would not have happened if the Indian government had not allowed this. So I don't blame a foreign power to do, which is trying to do certain things. If the Indian government had resisted that, it would not really have happened. So uh, you could also argue, like, like I said some time ago, that we the, the current government allowed the Shaheen Bagh thing to happen and so on and so forth because the other power that is doing that is engineering this is way too powerful us for us. And similarly, the USSR was way, way more powerful than India in the 1960s and so on. So that's how it goes. But the USSR did not plunder India, it did not commit genocide in India, it did not steal 50 trillion dollars worth of our 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 wealth. It did not do any of those things. It did not. It did not partition India, and the Russians don't lecture India today about right and wrong and morality and ethics and all that. Remember where, what you are doing. You think about your place in history and so on and so forth. They do none of that. So, if you look at, if you weigh the two things on a scale, I mean, there's no question about who has created, who who has committed crimes against humanity, and uh, who is who is to be to be blamed here. So I am not defending Russia or anything. I'm just saying it how it is. It's my perspective. I see things from my perspective, from the Indian perspective. You may agree, disagree. That's fine. That's fine. But that's just how it is. I mean, these are facts.